Hey, Pastor John, how are you? My name is Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Um, my question is, how do we biblically uh, witness to professing Christians? Uh, how do we biblically witness to professing Christians? You're assuming that this is somebody who says he's a Christian but likely is not. Yes, that is correct. Um, I have a very specific answer to this. Um, I wrote a book a long time ago called The Gospel According to Jesus. And in that book, in that book, I went back to the real gospel. The, the introduction to the book dealt with the fact that there are many people who don't understand the real message, the real gospel. The, the real gospel that our Lord proclaimed is very, very hard. It's a hard message. Even the disciples said to Jesus, will anybody be saved? Will anybody be saved? I mean, look, Jesus came to the land of Israel, preached the message of salvation, the message of the gospel, and after three years of Him preaching, by far the greatest preacher who ever lived but without any argument, the whole nation rejected Him. The message was very hard. Uh, he was saying to them, you, you need to recognize you are a sinner. You need to recognize even though you're religious, you're under divine judgment, divine condemnation, as we said this morning. You need to, re you, you need to mourn over your sin. You need to realize your spiritual bankruptcy, that you are void of any spiritual life and have no thing, good thing in yourself to alter that. In other words, He devastated even the Jewish nation by condemning them in their goodness, condemning them in their religion. And He said, unless you literally are willing to die, if any man will come after Me, let him take up his what? Cross and follow Me. Let him deny himself, take up his cross, it may cost you your life. Unless you become a slave to Christ, confess Him as Lord, you're not a Christian. So the, the issue with people who are professing Christians is usually that they have some level of attachment to a church, maybe a Catholic church or even a Protestant church, and, and they don't have any hostility that they can think of in their hearts toward Christ or God. But that's not the question. The question is, have they repented? Have they bowed the knee? Have they confessed Jesus as Lord? Have they willingly become His slave? Uh, are they willing to turn from their sin, deny themselves? Um, Jesus even said, if you don't hate your father and mother, you can't be My disciple. Are they willing to count the cost and follow Him at any cost? And that's.